Hey, my love bugs. So I'm here, guys, to do the read for Cancer. This is going to be for Cancer All House Placements. If the messages here resonate, I want y'all to take with them. If they don't, leave them here. Newbies, cross watchers, you're welcome. This is read from Cancer's point of view, however, and most likely, more than likely, not a cross watcher read. Okay, you rarely hear me say that, but <clears throat> any to do. I'm gonna give a warning before I even get into the reading, Cancer. This is about to be a very strong message. Um, majority of you can handle it. There's gonna be some of you who can't. Um, <clears throat> for different reasons. Maybe you are not ready for it. Maybe you're not prepared for it, and that's fine. You know, because everybody does everything in their own time. But the majority of you will. Um, if you feel like this resonates, but you're not sure, save it for a later date, okay? Maybe share it with somebody that you trust and see what they think about it, okay? Um, but, Cancer, I was meditating on an energy, and here's the message, plain and simple. They better pray you forgive them. They better pray you forgive them. Your spirit team... It's not playing any games at this time. All right. Um, this retrograde bringing on a very strong energy. Um, and you know, I think that a lot of you may experience some explosive energies related to memories. Memory. All right. Um, and the reason I feel like that's going to be significant for you, Cancer, is because when this takes place, when this happens, when that memory comes back and it makes you upset. And you're able to work through that emotion and reason your way through that. And, you know, because you have a higher understanding now. You've moved on completely like this is the beginning these are, this is the beginning and that's your confirmation that you're definitely on to the next phase of life. And I think for a lot of you, that's going to cause you to be very ecstatic, very uh, happy, enthusiastic, you know, um, taking charge. All right. Things you may have been viewing as problems. You may just breeze right through. OK, because like I said, we closed out that karmic cycle. <clears throat> But unfortunately, we close out the karma cycle. We jump into a retrograde, okay? <laughs> and y'all, unfortunately, retrogrades bring up old things so that you can finish this dismantling. I literally heard that you, this is going to be your confirmation that something is truly dismantled. However, I want you to be prepared for these to be intense feelings, okay? Intense feelings. That's why I'm saying that someone better pray that you have forgiven them. Because for those of you who can't reel in that energy, for those of you who can't reel in that feeling, it's going to wreak havoc in someone else's life. Whoever the person is that did you wrong, whoever the person is that you're thinking of, when I say they better pray that you forgive them, for some of you, there's more than one person, all right? <clears throat> They're showing me there could be several people, three to four people, all right? They really, really better pray that you are tapped in and tuned into your higher self. And maybe you feel the feeling. Like I said, you're going to feel it. However, some of you are going to pass the test. Some of you are going to be able to move on from that feeling very quickly. And others of you may not. You It may take some working through. However, it could take the span of this retrograde, all right? Doesn't have to, or it could take a couple days. And any of that amount of time is a waste of energy when you wasting it on a motherfucker who did you wrong, okay? Let's just be for real and be honest with you. When you're wasting any kind of energy on a motherfucker who did you wrong, you could have just went ahead and had you a V8, baby, because they're not worth the trouble. However... We are all human and we experience intense emotions, cancer. This person 
is going to be hit with an energy that is destructive for them and their livelihood. Because you're much more powerful now. You know how to say you can just send a person bad negative energy just through a thought. Maybe you think too much. You know, of course, we're talking about cursing and things of that nature and sending, you know, ju bad juju and evil eye, sending this person evil eye inadvertently. You know, um, some of you may recognize that and reel it in. That is the realization that needs to happen. They dirty as a motherfucker. I know it, cancer. I know it. They was dead ass wrong. They never apologized. They tried to gaslight you. They lied. They cheated. They stole. They destroyed things. They've affected all the areas of your life. And I understand that. But you have overcome that now. You have overcome that. You're powerful. They're showing me this burst of energy, literally. Harness it for good. Harness it for good. All right. Don't waste it on this loser. Life is losing enough for the ass. <laughs> do not waste that energy on this loser. They do not fucking deserve it. But like I said, they better pray you forgive them. Because if you don't, it's going to get real ugly cancer. Let's get into the read. That's literally the message I was picking up on. Like, this is what I'm seeing here, like, in real time. I feel like retrograde may hit a little tougher, may hit a little stronger because you've elevated, you're ascended now, all right? And in order to catch your attention, Cancer, it's got to go hard. That's the pipe, higher than the pipe. Do you hear me? For you to feel it now because you brushed that shit off with ease. So understand that you may be experiencing some strong emotions in this time. Reckless. Yeah, look at this. My way. Woo! Wait, but some of y'all, this shit may hit them in the midst of them like literally being with another person. Maybe they can't get it up. Maybe they can't get too deep into it. Maybe it's dry as the Sahara Desert all of a sudden. Twin Flames. Let me tell you something. If somebody's moved on for you and they feel like they found themselves a true match, somebody who they feel like they should really be with, you know, for a lot of them, this is just another karmic lesson because they haven't learned anything yet. However, y'all, It like it's going to turn this connection upside down. Um, it's a lot of fun time, childish energy. Uh, like we ain't got no bills to pay as energy. And when it hits them, it's ugly, honey. It's coming in like a dragon. It's about to burn that shit up. I'm literally seeing a dragon. All right. It's about to light that shit on fire. You are extremely powerful, Cancer. So with extreme power comes extreme responsibility. So all my little X-Men and Marvel character Cancers out there with these superpowers. These magicians and these alchemists, these high priests and priests and shamans and carrying on. My folks involved with Eva. Your spirit team is not playing about you because you are at the tail end of the race. You're at the finish line. You got to finish strong. Because you're supposed to finish strong, the attack is going to be even stronger. Do you hear me? You stop. Listen. This is like when you realize that you beating everybody in the race. And then because you turn around and you look and you're like, ha, beat they ass. And then you look forward and you see the finish line. And you're like, oh, shit. The finish line is up way further than what I thought. But I'm out of breath. But I'm thirsty. But I'm tired. I got a cramp. My knee hurt. My leg hurt. My ass hurt. Whatever hurts. 
I'm out of breath. I need an inhaler. I need some oxygen. But you can see the finish line and the motherfucker just seems like it's pushed back that far. This is when the enemy is going to show up with the strongest attack. Attacking them. And I mean malicious intent. Cancer, if you do fall victim to this energy and you get to the point where you like, oh, I ought to, I want you to stop. Do some protection work, some, some, some healing and protection work for yourself, okay? Some cleansing, some meditation. Yeah, some deep breaths are saying, doing, do some breathing exercises and calm your ass down, baby. Why? Because you're powerful, you're strong, you're a cancer, but that ass is very much so in fire energy, baby, during this retrograde. Fire energy is reckless as fuck. It's reckless as fuck. Do you hear me? With that being said, remember that what goes around comes around. And you are in the prime of your motherfucking spiritual livelihood, baby. Don't fuck it up for this hoe. Don't even do it. Don't eat. Your spirit team want a piece of that ass too. Make no mistake, your ancestors, your reaches, your, 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 your higher powers, your saints, they want a piece of that. Mm. They want a piece of that ass. They do. They really, really do. They really, really do. So if you give in to this emotion and this feeling cancer, it's going to tear Clean through they shit and burn everything to the ground. Cancer, even if you were a cancer who has been unsuccessful when it comes to manifestation and spell work, you look like a pro when you go to do this because this is an attack. This is an attack. They're showing me a red dragon, like literally a red dragon. Um, yeah, no. And it's like sneaking up, sneaking up on them in the moment where they are experiencing some sort of extreme happiness. There's a moment here, Cancer, where this person who owes you an apology, who did you dirty. You get upset about that and it's just this extreme, this moment of extreme happiness. I, make no mistake, I feel like it's already going to It's already going to be ruined. Anyways, you don't even have to put a finger on it because it's going to be ruined anyhow. Because see, there's two aspects to this attack if you get involved. There's an aspect that's already there that's coming in to attack whatever it is that they're doing anyhow. And this is like the ghost from Care Christmas past on their asses. I'm telling y'all the truth. Like this is something that they've done prior to ever even knowing you that's coming back to bite them in the ass anyhow. But if you get involved, if you get upset, if you say, oh, I ought to do this, that, and the third to this motherfucker, I ought to make sure this, 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 and this, that bitch don't know who they playing with. If you do all of that cancer, if you get in your business cancer, <laughs> you're going to tear their ass up to a degree that you may actually feel bad. Tear they ass to smither fucking rings. <laughs> like smithereens. They're torn to smithereens. You're already a champion. You're already coming out on top here, Cancer. So it's like low-key no reason. Like you have a very angelic ancestor that it walks with you as well or a spirit that walks with you as well. I mean, very highly ranking. Highly ranking. This is highly ranked. Like the ranking is high for this for this um, ancestor or this spirit guy. Um, for some of you, this is Obatala or Eshu. 
Asu, whatever you call him in your in your papaleba, whoever you, whatever you say in your belief system. How just understand this. You're already winning anyhow. A lot of you have gotten a spiritual upgrade, so you have like more you're more powerful. You're more powerful here. Um, you're moving up the ranks here spiritually. And this is why I see you hitting this person as hard. Like I'm telling you, this is totally unexpected for this person. Um, they don't see the other attack coming anyways. They don't see the other karma showing up at their doorstep. This is nothing. This is life altering. It's old too. They, this is something they did a while ago, Cancer. Now, I want you to know that this resonates in any walk of your life. I don't want you to feel like it's only a lover, but you know, for the, or, 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 or a prior relationship, but for the majority of you, it will be. Things are about to flip and like literally stop going their way altogether. Like if shit's been going their way, they can give it the fuck up. Um, especially for them that's been very flashy about how life's been going for them lately. Um, you know, top dog in it. You know what I mean? Big dog. No, it's about to be little dog. Little dog. Little money. Little nothing. Little ego. <laughs> little pride. Little arrogance. Mm-hmm. It's this connection that saved them. It's the connection that they had with you that saved them. You lifted them up like, um, let me tell you something. Cancer, if this person decides to ascend after you or if this person decides to, to, to grow and expand after you, it's, it's due to you anyhow. Their growth and expansion ain't to thank you. You know what song I heard? I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for shining your light on me. <laughs> All right. It's been a long time since I had someone to love me and not just my body. Nope, that's over. That's done. Look at this. Fairy tale and illumination. Karmic fucking lesson. Cancer. You don't have to touch this person. I'm telling you. It's going to be the downfall or whatever. What they're doing. What they did. Whatever they did to think that they won. It's going to bite them in their ass. It will fall. It will crumble. You need not involve yourself. Your job is to take the higher role, to move forward, and to do your motherfucking thing. Because ain't nothing worse than seeing a person that you're no longer connected to. That you dogged the fuck down, mistreated, misused, and abused. Doing good. Looking younger, looking healthier, looking happier. Living good. Ain't nothing worse. Show me this. It's too many. Reckless love wish. Let me see. Closing this cycle. See, while you were changing and evolving and turning your back on this connection and this situation here, this person was too busy enjoying their toxic lifestyle, thinking they was living it up and getting everything that they ever fucking wanted. Well, that's what the, the what that's what the um, you know, lower vibrational energy wants you to believe. That's what the enemy wants you to believe. That everything you're getting that in the long run is going to be no good for you is great right now. So as you're closing a cycle, changing, letting go, you know, going through it, crying, booing, doing all of this. This person was out throwing, throwing their ass in a circle, cancer. <laughs> throwing their ass in a circle, having a good goddamn time at your expense. And they still may be having a great time. But not for long. 
And that's just what it is. You're going to feel an immense amount of anger. And I just want you to be aware. There's an immense amount of anger here, Cancer. And I want you to be aware. I want you to know. Shady. This is Shady. Secret accounts. This motherfucker is still watching. Still trying to hide in the shadows. So this is somebody who's watching. But they may be. They're not in contact though. For some of you, this is no contact. This is no contact for some of you. Sweet talk. Ooh. I want you to know too that for some of you, this person is hiding behind an account that is pretending to be newly engaged. There's an account there that's newly engaged. It's fake. It's not a real account. So someone may be following you. Someone may be. And there it looks like. Um, if you look at someone's. And this is not going to be for everybody. If you look at somebody's um, engagement pictures. And they look too. Studious. Too movie like. To yeah, yeah. For some of you, you are hearing of an actual and great engagement. It's not fucking true. It's not fucking true. And even if it no, it's not true. Fake news. It's not true. And somebody will is gonna wind up running off on somebody else. They're gonna get engaged, and somebody's running the fuck off on the other person. <laughs> Even if, so that's why it's not real. That's not funny, but that's what's going to happen to them. But that's neither here nor there. For others of you, this person is watching you. And it's like, so they're laying down and dealing with whoever because they're looking at your life and thinking that you're doing really, you know, oh, cancer's having a good time. I'm going to have a good time too. So they're getting into all of these meaningless, empty connections with other people yeah so these are like friendships i'm telling you it's like the more you care about yourself and the more you love yourself and the more you elevate the worse shit is for them okay what is this getting readings my way they were warned and they did not listen they were warned and they did not listen. And this reading itself right here, Cancer, look at that. True colors at the bottom of the deck. Maybe what reveals to you that this person is getting exactly what they deserve. So no need because your love, the, the amount of anger you're going to feel is going to be intense. The reason why is because this is the last little bit of emotion. That you got left deep down up inside of there for this bitch. And you're letting it go. It's releasing. And it's in fucking intense. And the reason why, Cancer, is because of the way that this person played in your face. Tell us about this twin flame here. So, something that's been going good. Or maybe they got some hookup person or somebody. Divine feminine twin flame. It's about to get ugly that's about to fall but when it falls this person recognizes that they met you and haha -ha, that is the lesson they're recognizing that they met their actual divine counterpart but you're gone some of you moving on having new relationships doing new things new things Trap, love, spell, and running. So let me say this. For those of you who were involved in situations where you feel like someone put work on you and you like, Tona, I feel like they put work on me. I feel like, you know, like they was doing love spells or they was doing obsession spells or they was doing whatever. It's over. It's done. It's done. Yeah. Sex spells, whatever it is, it's done. You're moving forward. Look at this. Blocked 
in Mary. I was just about to fucking say, you're moving on and you're about to be in this great divine connection. And with Pop the Question, Sweet Talk, and Mary Cheer, and Blocked on this side, baby, please. Something's about to go so good. They have to pay karma anyways, like I said, with this thug and spiritual gift cancer. For some of you, this is involving some sort of workplace affair. Or you know what? This is going to be a workplace affair. And you know why this is a karmic lesson? Because somebody hasn't learned about fucking shit and where you eat. And it's about to kick them in the asshole. It's about to kick them in the asshole. Karmic ties at the bottom of the deck. Somebody doesn't know how to stop fucking off in places where they're supposed to be making money, um, places where there should be professionalism, or maybe places where there should be simply camaraderie and not sexual connection. Somebody brings sex into every environment that they're invited into. And they're about to get their asses kicked for it asshole kick in for whatever this is while you're over here living life good i feel like you're meeting new people you're in the right rooms with the people that you're supposed to be around i just saw for some of you this is military or police or something that strong because i just saw on his collar one two three okay um the bars or whatever yeah like, um, for some of you, this person that you meet will be somebody that you have a family with because love child did try to come out. Fucked up over you in the reverse. Mm. I don't know where this belongs. Praying. Left you hanging. Cancer, this is for you. This is for you. This is fake busy and no strings. Backstab. Cancer, fucked up over you. You're not fucked up over this person. It's in the reverse. You're not fucked up over them. And you have no reason to be cancer. Your life looks fucking amazing here. Do you see this? Like, and not only does it look amazing, but you sitting up here. You done learned your lessons that you need to learn. Right? That's amazing. Now you're in the right rooms with the right people. You're enjoying life and you're lighthearted. And that's what I like about it. Um, pop the question. Does For some of you, if this is not marriage, this is commitment. This is somebody that's saying like, I want to be with you and just you. I want us to only be together. And, that's, and this is what somebody's telling you that they desire to get into half with you. Yeah, closing this cycle. This is your opportunity to see that something's truly closed. Didn't I tell you that? Fucked up over you is in the reverse and closing this cycle. You're about to see that something for once and for all is dead. It's done. It's over. It's dead. You're able to move on lighthearted and happy. You're meeting new people. You're mingling in new rooms. You're, you're, you're where you're supposed to be. And for a lot of you, you're where you're supposed to be. Now, you supposed to have been a long ass time ago. But this person and this lesson that you had to learn, for some of you, this lesson that you had difficulty learning has held you up from a place that you should have been quite some time ago. And I heard specifically four to five years for some of you. For some of you, it's four to five months. Um, sometimes four to five months doesn't feel like a setback. But once again, when you think about all the time you spend being upset and crying and angry and arguing, and missing out on fun. And missing out on life. Missing out on showers. Shit. Missing out on hairdos. Missing out on days you could have got a haircut. Missing out on days you went, you usually would go to the gym. Missing out on days with your friends and your family. And you laughing and you're enjoying your life. And you're waking up lighthearted. Is a motherfucking loss. Especially for a bitch like this. Especially for a bitch like this. This bitch don't desire for you to be going through all of this cancer. Retrograde is going to retrograde. You stronger than that. Period. You have to remember that. Look at this I love you at the bottom of the deck. Fake news. Side hustle. Romance. This motherfucker plays in everybody's face. 
everybody's face. Love, like, work, or family. This is somebody who pretends like everybody is their friend. This is somebody who pretends like they just love everybody. This is somebody who gets along with everybody but doesn't get along with anybody. You know that everybody work with one. You know who the fuck I'm talking about. Sally Sue ass over there in the corner smiling at everybody's faces and baking cookies and shit. That's who I'm talking about. The Mr. Rogers at the job. That's who the fuck I'm talking about. The Mr. Rogers in the family. That's who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood ass while you're being messy. That low vibrational Jezebel spirit that's running around. The low vibrational side of it all. Not the high vibe. The low, the low. I heard Loli lie and wait. Understand this. Something's about to just fall apart. And it's already from a past situation. But can't start being told to look and see what this past situation is that's going to get to them. For some... I'm going to say this. This is a past life. So this is karma that has carried over for the past life for, from the past life for some. But see, there was something about the relationship or the situation ship or the situation, the living situation, the love situation, the financial situation. There was some place that they had to be in life before this karma would hit. And they're up on that time. Time's up. And for some of you, for some of you, depending on where you are spiritually and all of that, um, especially for my believers in past life, for some of you, the reason why this person has to pay this karmic debt in this life is because of a red rum that they committed in a previous life. There's an unaliving they committed in the previous life that they have to pay for in this life. That's going to be too deep for some of y'all. But no, there's something that this is not. They have to pay for this. It's old. The bill is due. Mm, mm, mm. For some of you, this person is heavily tatted. Heavily tatted. Heavily tatted. Arm area heavily tat. Heavily tatted. Let's see. <clears throat> Who is this connected to in this 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 old thing? Like, yeah, look at that. You're, I'm telling you, you're enjoying life. Let's see here. What's the connection? For some of you, I want to tell you that this old person, you'll know who I'm talking about. They're, they're heavily haunted. Heavily. Heavily. They are, they're haunted them, them, their, themselves. There's an attachment to them, a dark energy entity attached to them. You already know this for some of you. Tell me what this is. The emperor is in the reverse. What did I tell you? person could be an Aries they don't have to be and the hair fit it's straight the fuck up what did I tell it's straight it's straight up four wands the mistreatment of other people the mistreatment of others just when you thought you had your piece of happiness your little slice of happiness is not really happiness that shit's about to fall 
period. I just heard Fall of the House of Usher. If you've seen that series on Netflix, that's what I'm talking about. Fall of the House of Usher or something like that. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about the bill is due. Literally. Literally. The sun at the bottom of the deck, y'all. And the queen of cups. The lovers. Page of pentacles. Three of wands. You realize there's nothing left to give to this connection. This outburst or this extreme emotion or feeling that you're going to feel. The majority of you will recognize that it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. You're going to see it for what it is. You're going to recognize like that emotion. Although it's going to feel strong. And intense when it first comes in. I feel like you're going to be able to control it. Literally throw it away. And turn your back on, on that whole thing. Yeah. 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 The seven of swords. <laughs> to the to the, uh, to the strength card and the fool, y'all. It's time to play the piper. Somebody has to pay. This person has to pay the piper, period. And the thing about it is. Tell me about. Give me a card. For cancer and this emotion. Look at this. I wanted to know what the dragon emotion was. Cancer and it's you. Three stories in it. Like yo. Who? Yo. <laughs> it's like who, who the fuck do you really think you was playing with? Like if you get to thinking about that. And you get too deep off in these emotions here. Cancer. Baby please. They ass is fried, cooked, and it will literally block your own blessing. You see that? So the opportunity there, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Seven of Wands. Like denying your own self access, and that's crazy. For what? For what? To hold this other bitch back? They hold themselves back. And I want you to remember that. And Cancer, if you get in those intense emotions or those intense feelings during this retrograde, say this video and watch this video, yo. Get your mind back right, because fuck them. They just racking up the debt. You ain't got to touch them. Some other debt will. <laughs> okay, Cancer. This is where I'm leaving this off at, bulls. If the messages here resonate, give it a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe, baby dolls. I love you. Until next time, bye-bye.